Chapter 1 History of Computers Early Counting Devices Since early times, there has been a need for counting. Early man used sticks, stones, bones, etc. for counting but there have been many inventions since then to make counting easier. Let us learn about some of those inventions. Abacus Around 5000 years ago, the abacus was invented in China. It was the first computing device. Abacus has a wooden frame with colorful beads on parallel sticks. It is easier and faster to perform simple calculations like addition and subtraction. Pascal's Calculator Pascal's Calculator or Pascaline Adding Machine was invented by a French mathematician named Blaise Pascal. In this machine, numbers were dialed using the wheels. These numbers could then be added or subtracted easily. It is believed that this machine was the first calculator in the world. Step Reckoner Leibniz Step Reckoner is a digital mechanical calculator invented by a mathematician called Gottfried Leibniz. It is the first calculator that could perform all the arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Analytical Engine The difference machine is a steam-driven calculating machine that was developed by the mathematician Charles Babbage in 1882. This machine was huge and almost the size of a room. Charles worked on this project for 10 years, but it never became a reality. The analytical engine was the first working model of the mechanical computer, invented in 1883 by Charles Babbage. This was a full program controlled machine. That is why Charles Babbage is known as the father of computers. Lady Ada Lovelace Programs Lady Ada Lovelace was the first person to program the analytical engine. The instructions that she used were in the form of zeros and ones. She introduced the concept of programming which is why she is known as the first computer programmer. Harman Hollerith's Tabulating Machine Harman Hollerith was an army engineer who built a machine called Tabulating Machine in 1890. The machine reads and stores data from punched cards. Since this machine was a success, Hollerith formed a computing tabulating recording company to sell his machine. In 1924, his company became a part of the International Business Machines Corporation, popularly known as IBM today. Generations of Computers Computers have been around for a long time. Since then, many things have changed about computers such as size, accuracy, and speed to make them better. Such changes are divided into five generations. First generation, 1940s. Some features of first generation computers are large in size, very expensive to install, made up of vacuum tubes, not that fast to use. Mark 1. It was the first electromechanical powered computer built by Professor Howard Aikens in 1944. The input and output were acquired by using punched cards and a typewriter. This machine was much more reliable than other early machines. ENIAC. ENIAC stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. It was the first electronic general-purpose digital computer. This computer was built in 1946 by John Morchley and Presper Eckert. It consisted of over 18,000 vacuum tubes and it was 10 times faster than Mark I. Almost 200 kilowatts of power is consumed by ENIAC. UNIVAC UNIVAC stands for Universal Automatic Computer. This machine was also an invention of John Morchley and Presper Eckert in 1951. It could handle both numeric and textual information. Univac had 5,200 vacuum tubes. Second generation, 1950s. Some features of second generation computers are 
Data was stored using magnetic tapes, smaller in size than first-generation computers, cheaper than first-generation computers, faster to use. The use of transistors and magnetic tapes revolutionized the concept of an electronic computer. This period marked major growth in the range of computer accessories such as page printers, cathode tube display, card feeders, etc. Third generation, 1960s. Some features of third generation computers are These computers were made of integrated circuits, ICs. The use of ICs reduced the size of computers. It increased the speed of computers. Computers became more affordable. By this time, computers had more storage space. Fourth generation, 1970s. Some features of fourth generation computers are. Microprocessors were introduced. Computers were much smaller in size and could be easily placed on the office tables. There were hard disks to store the data. Graphic user interface, GUI, operating systems were introduced. Very large-scale integration, VSLI, was first used in the 1980S which consisted of thousands of transistors placed on a single chip called a microprocessor. Fifth generation, present. Some features of the fifth generation computers are Use of artificial intelligence. Much more convenient size. Very reasonable and affordable price. New variations of GUI operating systems were developed. Modern computers. Modern computers are the computers that we see and use today. They are available in various shapes and sizes. Desktop. A desktop is generally placed on a desk in offices, shops, homes, etc. A desktop cannot be carried around easily. It is used with a keyboard, mouse, CPU, etc. Laptop. A laptop is a smaller computer. It can be carried around very easily. A laptop does not require separate devices like a mouse, keyboard, or CPU. It works on a battery that needs to be charged. Tablet. A tablet is a small computer. It consumes less space. It has a touch screen through which the user can perform various actions. Smartphone. A smartphone is a type of computer. It can perform various actions like calling, sending messages, clicking, pictures, etc. It is very convenient, lightweight, and much smaller in size. Smartphone also has a touchscreen.